Man. A husky man steals the food of a frail and crippled boy who was waiting in line for hours to get food and walks away calmly. Tom Stoddart captures this moment. The African continent is of paramount importance in the world because of its rich natural resources and mines. Another reason is its important position in the world's political geography. But despite its huge potentials, the continent has always suffered from problems such as poverty, unemployment, hunger, famine, drought, civil wars and dangerous diseases. Before the independence of African countries, the continent's economy was bound to its colonial rulers. Geographical factors have had a far greater impact on the continent's economic failures. Reasons include lack of democracy, lack of transparency in planning and policy making, unnecessary population growth and urbanization, inadequate educational mechanisms and other obstacles to human development. Sudan is one of the most crisis-hit countries in the region, which has always been plagued by widespread and acute problems. The country has faced two civil wars and is struggling with issues such as ethnic cleansing and slavery. Sudan is listed as one of the most corrupt countries in the world in terms of administrative corruption and embezzlement. According to the World Hunger Index released in 2013, Sudan is the fifth country in the world in terms of widespread hunger, which is alarming. In 1993, U.S. President Bill Clinton put Sudan on a list of state sponsors of terrorism and three years later, the Congress approved a series of measures including bans such as technology transfer, sale of spare parts and most importantly boycott of international banking transactions in dollar. The famine killed more than a hundred thousand people, most of them children under the age of five. Some people in the famine-stricken areas reported looting of their gardens and food supplies by the army. About half of the population of the town of Kondak, nearly 9,000 people, were displaced. Until 1998, the then Sudanese government did not allow distribution of aid to the hungry. But in 1998, under international pressure, the Sudanese government allowed goods and aid from various countries to be distributed in the country's famine-stricken south. News photographer Tom Stoddart, who had traveled to a refugee camp in Ajib, Sudan with the Doctors Without Borders NGO, had no idea he was going to take one of the most influential photographs in history. One that brought him worldwide fame. Har joy to dunya ke manabe bishteri dare va servat mande an azar geografiye an azar manabe tabi mardomanish tu fakr bishter astan. Mese Sudan. In be hamin dalil ham baraye akasa. این وقتی عکس ثبت میکنه تنها کاری که میتونسته بکنه این بوده که معرفی کنه به دنیا بگه آقا این اتفاق داره میافته. 
Born in 1953, British photographer Tom Stoddart began his career at a local newspaper in the northeast of England. He then started working for magazines such as The Sunday Times and The Time. His collection of photographs about the Bosnian War gained worldwide fame. The photographer asked newspapers that printed his photos of the displaced Sudanese to also provide credit card information and information on how people can help relief organizations in Sudan. On the day the photo was released in The Guardian, Doctors Without Borders received 700 calls and raised 40,000 euros. The Daily Express also raised half a million euros. Le Figaro gave 10 pages and Stern magazine gave 9 pages to Stoddart's photographs. Thomas Stoddart, in fact, was in a situation where برای صلیب سرخ در حقیقت در کنار صلیب سرخ رفته بوده کمک کنه ولی خب عکاسی میکرده کارش هم عکاسی بوده مجموعه های دیگه ای از عکاسی مستند تام استورت هم هست مثل در حقیقت کتابی هستش به نام کتاب عکسی هستش از تام استورت به نام من شهادت میدهم اصلا در حقیقت ذهنیت استورت این بوده که ببینه ثبت کنه شهادت بده اعلام کنه به مردم که آقا ببینید این هست حالا کی میتونه چی کار بکنه سر همین عکسی که در حقیقت دزد غذا گرفته شد خیلی حجب به تام استوارد وارد شده بوده ولی در عین حال اون شماره حسابی که در رابطه با کمک های مردمی شده بوده خیلی پولم جمع شده بوده و اعلام خب این یه عکاس دیگه چی کار میخواد بکنه کاری نمیتونه بکنه عکاس ارتش نیست عکاس عکاس باید نگهبان باشه ما لحظه رو ثابت میکنیم زمان رو ثابت میکنیم این زمان توی هیچ جای دنیا دوباره فر نمیگرده این زمان یک بار اتفاق افتاده توی یک ثانیه اتفاق شده و سرس شده Maybe Stoddart was right, because this photo became a symbol of the endless problems of the African people. In the very poor and needy areas, large amounts of food aid disappeared from the camps and were sold in neighboring areas in shops and stores. The food and medicine that other countries sent were usually stolen by corrupt government officials. Sometimes they confiscated aid convoys or sent them to areas with no need because the governments there wanted to use foreign aid as a means of controlling tribes and rebel forces. These facts lie behind Stoddart's photo. If he had left the camera at that moment to help the boy, this dreadful moment that testified to the cruelty of men against his own kind would never have been recorded. <laughs> 